There's one place I've learned more in my life than I ever learned from elementary school, middle school, high school, college, and my parents combined. And that is my favorite school of all, which is YouTube. Today I'm going to share with you 21 keystrokes for using YouTube that will change the way you consume content on YouTube. Dare I say, it may just change your life. Hey, my name's Trevor, Hollywood editor turned realtor. On this channel, I teach you to create better videos so you can sell more houses, get more views, get more subscribers, and grow whatever business you happen to be involved in, even if you're just on YouTube to, uh, to get a, a bigger following for your ego, like, like me, I mean, sometimes. So why should you care? Well, YouTube is where I spend most of my time learning just about anything right now. I believe it is the greatest resource on the planet for gaining knowledge about virtually any topic on the earth. And if you can consume it faster and more efficiently and use these keystrokes to make you better at it, you will learn more and be more productive. In fact, as an editor, one thing that made me probably the fastest editor where I was last working in Hollywood was because I mastered the keystrokes. Keystrokes make you better on anything on a computer. So I suggest you get good at keystrokes no matter what software you're using. But today we're talking about YouTube, so let's jump in. Let me show you these amazing keystrokes. Let's start with JKNL. These are keystrokes that YouTube probably stole from editing programs. All the big ones use JKNL, almost the same. K starts or stops the video. It's like hitting the space bar. You probably already know about the space bar. That's K. J takes you back 10 seconds and L takes you forward 10 seconds. And if you want to jump forward farther, just keep tapping L a bunch of times. Then you tap it, it's 10 more seconds. So super useful. I use that all the time on YouTube and when editing all day, every day. Speaking of going forwards and backwards, you can hit the left arrow to go backwards five seconds and the right arrow to go or go forwards five seconds. So there's five seconds backwards with the left arrow, five seconds forwards with the right arrow. Next, we have 10 keys all at once, which are zero through nine. Zero takes you to the beginning of the video. One takes you 10% in, two 20% in, three 30% in, and so on. So if you wanna jump ahead in the video, you just tap that. Don't hit those keys when you're watching my videos. You need to watch all of them so you don't miss anything. The next one is one I discovered today, which I could have used for the last five years. Didn't know this one even existed, which is period and comma. If you type comma, you will go back one frame. Bad place to see it. Let me get a little farther in here. I'll type seven to go to something more interesting. And I will hit the comma and it'll take me back one frame. And I'll hit period, it'll take me forward one frame. And that is Kaylin on a paddleboard after a very traumatic experience the prior time she was on a paddleboard when she almost died in a lake in Utah. That video is up there on this channel. By the way, if you haven't seen this channel, I got another channel. It's called, uh, it's right here. It's called Life Untethered. It's about travel and RVs and all kinds of cool stuff like that. You should probably check it out. Next, we have one that I use every single time I'm on YouTube, which is shift comma and shift period. Shift period, which is the greater than sign, that little arrow thing pointing to the right. I think that's greater than, right? I hit that and guess what? It changes my speed up 25%, up to 2x speed. So I can watch YouTube videos at up to double speed. By the way, there's a way to watch it even faster. There's a link for that up there in the top right. Shift comma on the other hand, which is the less than sign, takes me back 0.25 at a time. So I can watch things at normal speed or at 0 0.75, 0 0.5, even 0.25. And Super, super useful. For me, you might want to watch my stuff at 0.25 because I talk so fast. If you get any value out of this, do me a favor and uh, give me a thumbs up, man. Next, what if you wanted to get into the search bar without using your mouse? Using keystrokes is the very best way to get fast at anything. When I was editing, I was one of the fastest editors in the company because I master the keystrokes. But if you want to get into the search bar without using the mouse, you just type the forward slash key, bam. And now it pops you into the search bar and shows you the last 10 things that you searched for. Next, what if you wanted to see captions? If people are talking, you just, well, you start playing the video first and then you type the letter C and boom, captions pop up. And this is YouTube's captions. They aren't amazing, but they're pretty good. I actually use rev.com for 
most of my videos to caption them because that can be a little bit of help with people finding your videos if you've got captions there. So it's a little better than using YouTube's captions. So I do that almost all of them. There's a link for rev.com in the description below for your first 10 minutes of captions for free. Next, if I wanted to jump to the next video, I would hit Shift N for next. Shift N takes me to the next video. In this case, it took me to the next video in the playlist, which was this playlist right here on the top right. If you did not have a playlist up, you weren't watching videos from the playlist, it would take you to your next suggested video. And, oh, look at this. This is 90 minutes of streaming from my backyard. That's my backyard. <laughs> that guy's, he's moving in slow motion because we're at 0.25. So what do you hit? Shift, period. Let's get up to normal speed. So he's moving normal speed. And let's jump to something more interesting like these bucks here at 20% uh, in. Oh, there's a skunk. Let's go 10%. Oh, look at that. There's a buck in my backyard. So if you ever want to go to sleep at night, just jump to this channel and you can watch the live stream. I've got a 24-7 live stream of my backyard. I'm on there twice a day talking to you and feeding the critters in my forest. And if there's nothing on the live stream, usually there's at least a squirrel, but we get bucks and does and stuff every day. And if there is nothing interesting there, you can actually go to this one, which is Nature Sounds, Forest Sounds, and Wild Animals if you want to sleep and you want to, want to hear these guys. Um, so it's, it's pretty fun. I just put this 90 minutes up, but the live stream has been up for almost, almost a month. By the way, side note, we are getting more views on our live stream on this channel than all the other videos combined on a daily basis. We're getting about 2,000 views per day with our live stream. If you want to learn how to create a live stream, and no matter what niche you're in, there's probably something you can live stream. Yes, realtor, your backyard, bird feeder, your pets, the weather, traffic, them all, whatever. There's a link for how to set up a 24 seven live stream up there in the top right. You should probably check that out and set up a live stream to get more views because you know, that's what it's all about. I said 21, I think this is gonna make it a couple more. Another somewhat useful keystroke is M. So you can mute or unmute. You type M to mute or unmute depending on where you are. And notice that it tells me when I do that that I'm at 5% of my volume when I've unmuted. If I want to raise the volume, I just hit the up arrow and I can raise the volume and I can lower the volume with the down arrow. So there's some bonus keystrokes. So not 21, but what is that? 24 keystrokes that are gonna change your life. If you wanna see my live stream, you should check out that link right there. You can spy on me like 24 seven and I, and I, I like it. YouTube thinks you wanna watch that video. And to make sure you don't miss out on any of my content, hit subscribe right there. I can't wait to see you just master watching YouTube so you can learn all the things.